Don't cry. Whatever. Are you kidding me? I don't, I'm, not, I'm not married to someone like this. I'm, this can't be happening. Am I dreaming right now? <laughs> what, what, who are you calling? What are you, you going to say? I'm trying to call the school. What number are you calling? Hello? You know, University Amy Castillo's office. Hi, it's Debbie and Macuccia. You left me a voicemail? Oh, yes, Debbie. Thank you for calling me back. I actually was able to get in touch with your husband. Uh, yeah, he's on the other line. Did he tell you that, unfortunately, you're going to be released from the school? Yeah, that's fine. Wait, 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 what do you mean it's fine? You understand why, right? I mean, we, yeah, uh -huh. I mean... Yeah, I didn't there... like the school. I didn't like the parking what and stuff. Are you kidding me? Do you know, though, unfortunately, that you cannot get the money back? It's non-refundable. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Can you hold on one second? Uh-huh, Okay, uh -huh. hold on. What the hell are you? Matt, hold on. She's going to come back. No, no, no. I'm not... What, are you... Are, is, uh, I'm not kidding. I, 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 I'm not kidding, Debbie. Sorry, no. I disappointed you. Who am I living with? What the are you? Hey, um, Matt? Yes. It's Danielle Monero from Elvis Duran in the Morning Show, and you got phone tapped. <laughs> Matt? No, shut the <laughs> f Hi, Matt! <laughs> shut the hell up. Don't shut the hell up. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I love you. No, are you joking? The Elvis Duran phone tap. I never got that. What? They they have someone they love phone tapped, <laughs> totally screwed over by that in that one Danielle. Yeah. And then they think they can say I love you at the end, and all is forgiven. They I love you. Yeah. I know that like, everyone does that because every they time. do the joke out of love. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. why they write to us to begin with. I think harassment well, is a love language. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Light well, bullying. I love you. Thank you for the bullying uh, phone tap, Danielle. Great job. <laughs> You're as very always. welcome. Thank you. That was your free money phone tap. Thanks to HelloFresh. Let's go to line five. Talk to Star. Hey, Star. Hello. Hey, what's Hi, it like? Good <laughs> Let me ask you a question. What's it like having a great name like Star? I think that's an awesome name. I think it's amazing, and because of my name, I named my daughter Aurora. Oh. oh I love oh, the name God. Aurora. I love it. Sleeping Beauty. Yes. Look at Thank that. Thank you. Well, Star, you are calling. Hi. Hi. You just won a thousand dollars, Star. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so Thank welcome. you so much. You don't know how much I need this money. Thank you guys so much. Oh, wow. Well, I'm glad you got it. Star, there was a million people Thank who you. could have won it, but you won it because you're the chosen one. Okay. Thanks for listening to us. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you guys for making my mornings every morning. Oh, we appreciate it. It's our honor. Hold on one second. Thanks to Star. Look. Another uh, another uh, friend. We have another friend. We just we paid someone off just so they'd be our friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have to bribe people to play with us. Star, here comes a thousand dollars thanks to HelloFresh. And if you join HelloFresh.com slash Elvis right now, if you join, uh, you could win breakfast for free for the rest of your life as long as you subscribe to HelloFresh. It's HelloFresh.com slash Elvis. All right, Danielle. Yes. Yeah. You went from bullying people on the phone tab <laughs> to now making up lies about oh, celebrities. Let's go. Hey, I was just watching uh, something on I don't know, one of the news channels. They were talking about the Golden Globes last night and yeah. Joe Coy mm -hmm. saying, <laughs> saying something that well, apparently wasn't that positive about about Taylor Swift. Oh. And oh. the look on her face was like, yeah. <laughs> if looks could kill, man, it was wow. The joke wasn't that yeah. bad. It all wasn't he said bad was, at all. All he said was, we're just not going to cut to Taylor Swift as many times as they do during an NFL football game. Right. That's all he said. Yep. Well, she she so was not having it. She was not, not, she was not impressed. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> no. That's anyway, uh, let's get into what else you have to talk about. All What's right, going well, on? Speaking of the Golden Globes, uh, Oppenheimer won for Best Motion Picture for Drama. Then we had Succession winning again for Best TV Series for Drama. Yep. And The Bear won Best TV Musical or Comedy. So congratulations to all the winners. Coachella, the festival dates are set for April 12th to the 14th and April 19th to the 21st. Now, some rumors going around about who will headline, who will be there. Tyler, the creator, they're saying maybe. Lana Del Rey, possibly Doja Cat. Other rumors, the Rolling Stones, Olivia Rodrigo, Travis Scott. Now, apparently Dua Lipa declined because she was had some scheduling issues, but very soon we will find out exactly who will be there. So we will wait for that. 
Saturday, Luke Bryan closed his two-year Las Vegas residency. He played 48 shows at the theater at Resorts World, and his final show had a little surprise on stage guest. Who was it? His crap dealers! <laughs> they right. brought them up on the stage, and he said, these are my crap dealers. He said, thanks to two years, and they gave him a big craps. Thing. Craps. What I say? Crap? Crap. Oh, I mean craps. <laughs> this is my crap dealers. <laughs> <laughs> you see how much I gamble. Um, <laughs> yeah, that would be craps with an S. I have crap dealers, though. <laughs> Don't we all? Okay. So anyway, so <laughs> Danielle. So Cruella. Uh, you know, the movie came out like three years ago already, and Emma Stone is always <clears throat> getting asked, "Are we getting a sequel?" Because the movie was fantastic. So good. She said it is a work in progress, and she says maybe we'll get a sequel sooner rather than later. But that's all she's saying. So there we go. So there is a documentary for We Are the World. You guys remember that. It's called The Greatest Night in Pop. It chronicles the behind-the-scenes story of how the We Are the World recording session came together. There's never-before-seen footage, and it shows the early planning stages, including the writing sessions between Lionel Richie and Michael Jackson. It goes into the studio, so it should be pretty cool. It will be uh, debuting on Netflix January 29th. And a Backstreet Boy and an NSYNCer are going on tour together. No, Joey what? Fatone, it looks like Joey Fatone and AJ from the Backstreet Boys are going on tour together. It looks like they will be hitting the road in March and will singing will be singing songs from both of their bands. So that is happening. What are we watching? America's Got Talent Fantasy League. The 15th season premiere of Hoarders is on tonight. We're watching a new one on Netflix that we're loving at my house called Fool Me Once. It's a British crime drama. It's eight episodes. It's a quick watch and it's really, really good. So you may want to watch that. And that is my Danielle report. Hey, did you or did any of you see the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame show, the TV show no. they produced? Oh, my God. It's good? It, it, I, yeah. Actually, I did. I oh, it that. was amazing. Incredible. Hmm. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Of course, we had uh, John Sykes on, who's he, he's the chairman of the board, or, you know, he runs the thing. Anyway, the show. Did you did you love it, Scary? I mean, was it, was it as amazing to you as it was to me? Yeah. And, with, and Missy Elliott, when she performed, oh. that was it blew my mind, all her hits. Um, but all these legendary acts on stage, and then, you know, I, I really, really did enjoy it, enjoy it, like, next level. Um, that's the way a concert should be. Well, I hope they play it again. If, uh, check your local listings. It's, it's out there somewhere. It's the Rock and Roll Hall, and Fame, Hall of Fame show. It was so well produced. Willie Nelson, 90 years old, performing up on stage. I know, this guy's a legend. Also, they, they did a... I think it was... Uh, who was it that did the spinners thing? Oh. Um, um, um. Ugh. I have no memory. It's crazy. I enjoyed it so much in the moment, <laughs> but now I'm trying to recall it. I'm like, I only remember Missy Elliott. And <laughs> it wasn't Boys to Men. It was no. uh, a new edition. New edition was oh, before me. Nice. Remember them? Yeah. Way before Gandhi's time. Uh, anyway, it was it was a great show. Hey, can we talk about, uh, on the way, can we talk about what happened in Miami with the, with the aliens? I totally believe there is something going on. Here. I think so, too. I mean, I, I'm all in. You, are you guys all in? You know something's going on. They're not telling us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The amount of police cars alone. I didn't even know Miami had that many police. <laughs> they were all there. And you don't send that much for a fight. Just a bunch of kids fighting. Yeah. Sorry. Really? Something else right. was up. Aliens. Uh, so Danielle's wondering what we're talking about. Yeah, we'll I don't know. We'll, I have no idea. We'll bring, we're going to bring you up to speed in just okay. a second. Go call your crap dealer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> the host of the party on his national radio show. Elvis Duran in the morning show.